So I thought we'd spend a bit of time looking at homemade outliners. Generally I use store-bought outliner black but when I want a coloured outliner rather than spending lots of money buying different colours I tend to make my own as you can see with this blue one. There we go, nothing wrong with that. This can be used in both normal glass painting and pipe and peel work, peelable glass paints. And basically, you can make any colour you like. So, how did I do it? First, let me let me put that back in the pot because I don't want to waste it. There it goes, and that can be used on another day. And I will move this because, knowing my luck, I'll put my hands on it. Right, so, how do you make your own outliner? Well, it's based on this, which is an acrylic filler, sealer. Uh, the sort you use in bathrooms, etc. If I think rightly, this came from Screw Fix Direct or whatever. Um, part of their no-nonsense range, but I'm sure there are other makes out there. The important things are, it's white, it's acrylic, and it's permanently flexible. That is important, that permanently flexible. So, I put a bit of that into a pot, and to that I'll add a little bit of colour. And this time I'm going to use red. As with all these things, add less, and you can always add a bit more later. What you don't want to do is overdo it the first time. So we'll say that's right for now. That's about a third of a pot of the flexible filler. And as you can see, a couple of squirts of the red is giving a really nice colour. The paint is just normal children's acrylic poster paints. I will admit I think that one came from the pound shop and it's going to take a little bit of mixing. Give it a good mix. And now this is still very thick. It's too thick to be usable. I should have caught that a bit before it dropped, shouldn't I? Never mind. I saw it in the pot. It's too thick to be usable but I'm going to add a little bit of water to it but again I will tell you just add a few drops of water because you can always go back and add more. Now the state we want to get it to is one where it will flow so it can be used for outlining, we want it to flow, but we also want it to hold its shape. I say it may go a bit lumpy and it may take a little bit of stirring to get there. Maybe I should have used a bigger pot, but this is what I've got, so it's what I use. And I can tell now that's going to be a paste. I can also tell it's quite a thick paste. So I'm going to add a little bit more water to that in a second. And I'm also going to grab a bit off this side. So a little bit more water. So we don't want it to flow too much. We need it to retain its shape. But we want to be able to peel it. Peel it? But we want to be able to pipe it out of our piping bag. If you don't like using a piping bag, you can buy empty bottles which you can pipe from. This one's by Glass Art. Or we do have a video showing you how to make your piping bag and how to pipe out of it. Uh, 
Uh, this one's definitely getting there. It will keep. I don't have to use it all on the same day. Uh, I've got a gold one here I made quite a while ago. And the blue one you've just seen. I warn you now, it does go a bit darker when it dries. So the gold looks very pale at the moment. But I'll show you that dried in a minute and you'll see it's a nice gold colour. So So I think we are about there with this thread. You see it's holding its shape. It's not falling off. Now uh, one more bit of water. You'll get to know how you like having your outliner and what works best for you. If I do make this too runny I can always put a little bit more of the sealer in there. But I don't think I have. I think I've done that about right. Make sure it's all in the pot. That seems about right to me, so I will try that out. Could be a famous last words, I don't know. So I want my piping bag. Remove a couple of things off the desk, so we've got room to work here. Here's my piping bag. I'll just make that up. Pull it down at the back and I will use the same stick I use for mixing to move the outliner into the bag. Get a nice dollop of outliner there. Yeah, Best not to hit the sides, best to get it in to the middle. There we go. Bit messy there because I did hit the side, oh, never mind. Pull the wings in, roll it down. And there we are. Nice little piping bag with the red in it. Again, let's move a couple of things out of the way. As always, I need to cut the end off the piping bag. And hopefully we have A nice outliner. Oops, a little break there. I will probably go back and put just a tad more water with that. It is slightly thick, but definitely usable. So using this method, as long as you've got the uh, paint and you can mix the paints, I would get a nice purple if I use those two you can mix the paints so as with the pipe and peel paints you can make a whole range of outliner colors as you can see perfectly good outlining as I said before, you can use it with both ordinary glass paints and peelable glass paints. That's it used with ordinary glass paints. That's a gold outliner. And as you can see, even though the gold in the pot is quite pale, it goes to a nice gold colour when it's dried. And obviously these I've done with peelable glass paints because they can hopefully be peeled off and restuck
peeled off and restuck. So have fun making outliners all different colours and using them with both your peelable glass paints and your ordinary glass paints, both solvent and water based. I haven't found a glass paint this won't work with yet. I have never tried it with oven bake. So unless you're willing to experiment with your oven, I'm going to say don't use these with oven bake paints. But if anyone does give it a go, you can let us know, but I'm not taking responsibility if it's a disaster and blows your kitchen up. Okay, have fun with your glass painting. If you do make some coloured outliners, just keep them in airtight containers like these and you'll have them around to use whenever you want.